always good to come back to the Tour of Yorkshire. The race is getting bigger and better year in, year out, and it's really amazing to race on home roads with uh, some of the world's best pros, and the crowd and support's unbelievable. I say, it makes the legs uh, less painful sometimes as you're going up some of the climbs. I think the climbs do scare the, the Europeans because they're steeper and harder than uh, what they are on the continent. So, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good to have the home support and hopefully numb the pain from the legs uh, to get you through the stages. Now the climbs are starting. We're on Cote de Silsden. 1.4, 1.5k, average of 10%, but I'm not sure that's true. This is ramping up pretty, uh, pretty hard here, really. Here we are now on the last, last steep bit of the climb. I think this could be a crucial part. It comes open at the top, so anything can happen if the wind's blowing like it is today. As you can probably tell, I'm out of breath here, and that wasn't an easy climb. And I don't think it's going to get any easier. Could be blowing up here and uh, the race could start to disintegrate and small groups form, but you never know. We might stay together and uh, roll on to the next few climbs, but that's definitely the first hard climb of the day and it's, it's going to hurt the legs for sure. I think the sort of rider that will suit this stage is, yeah, someone who's uh, hardy sort of can climb, but it's quite a punchy rider. Obviously we don't know what the weather's going to be, so that could play a key factor on on some of the climbs or after the climbs, in fact. It could split and it's going to take someone who can really read a bike race to be in the bike race all day and looking out for who's moving where. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty open, uh, open few days of bike racing, really. Here we are on the bumpy cobbles on the out the hour only 0.6 kilometers but over 10 percent average gradient i think uh, a famous bike race came up here a few years ago so yeah let's give it a whirl my particular goal to tour york so it's probably going to be maybe on the road captain for glt condor but then we never know if the legs come good one day i might be able to uh, sneak into a breakaway and have a good finish on one of the stages. Here we are, climb three of the day, Cote de Leaming, the sun's shining so yeah that's great, hope it does on the day you know. But yeah this climb, a bit longer than the previous ones, it's over 2k, average of 7%, I think it's ramping up here to the, uh, to the top so who knows what we've got over the other side keep riding and see uh, see what it brings absolutely beautiful a bit steep but at least the sun's shining just cresting the top now so it's going to be a stunning backdrop for sure well here we are coat the Shibden wall not liking the sound of the wall gradient of 17% plus for about a K and we have bumpy cobbles so this is a very good fun. It just gets steeper and steeper. After just ridden the Cote de Shibden wall, it is a wall. We're halfway through the stage and we've had four tough climbs. We've got a bit of a, a trek over the valley now to go to Sheffield and then yeah four more or so at the end so it's going to be one savage day. Apparently this stage three has got the nickname the Yorkshire Terrier. Yeah I believe in that and uh, as a Yorkshireman I think I'm off for a pint now. See you later.